in there? No, there isn't. No. The lever is in the other room, so. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Upstairs. There's nothing special now this way at all, to be honest. This is where I should have been going all the way, all along, I mean. What the hell is this thing? Clan Fair Run, what the hell? Hmm. One goal, totally worth it. Nope. Not so much. I'm thinking after I've got this shield, I should probably go continue my major skilled quest thingy because of the whole um, being able to create my own spells and I really need to get a specialized healing spell. Yeah. This is the area where the... the... Uh, Lever, I was talking about is. Fuzz off. Come on, come on, come on. Just die already. This guy uses a glass dagger that I really want because it does quite a bit of damage. And I'm over encumbered. Of course. 11 damage. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty much what I was using all last run through. Mm, I'll throw these things away, I guess. Seriously? Dude, you're such a coward. Right. I am so screwed. Um... Let's see. Strong potion of. Didn't I have strong potion of healing somewhere? No, apparently not. Hmm. Guess these will have to do then. Fuck off. Yeah, the flame atronach is not summoned. I'll we'll have to kill that one afterwards. Or conjure it before we come back. bother to die again. That would seriously bum me out. Considering how I've already played through all of this all once. No, three times? Four times? Most of it? Yeah, there's just a bunch of uh, iron stuff here. That was here from before. Actually, another neat trick I picked up was that I could just sleep for an hour and all my health will be back to, back to full. I don't know if that counts as just when I'm uh, leveling or if that's just a general thing, but either way, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, is it? Iron short sword. Finally, I'm a journeyman. Right. So now that lever was pressed or pulled or whatever, turned, and this door opened, I'll come around here, pull this one. See these things fall down. Nice and tight. Uh, 
I'm heading back down to uh, the earlier room. And this way. Which I just opened from up there. From up into there. Also, this is a small puzzle. You have to step on the buttons that make this sound, basically. Right. I think I remember it now. So it's this one, this one, this one, and this one. I actually struggled with that earlier. So there's another puzzle up coming up that I spent a little time figuring out, but it's easy enough. So there's just these cells. Help me. And this guy. That gives me a little hint. Thank you for rescuing me. What are you doing? I am Sir Thedra. I came here seeking the shield of the Crusader. And was ambushed by these these cowards they've held me here since i've been held prisoner by these scoundrels for the longest time they want to know how to reach the shield and believed i would help them when i refused they locked me here and only let me out to torture me they got nothing from me i can't go with you if that's what you mean i'm too weak i need to rest once I have my strength, I will certainly join your cause. You'll have to go on alone, but the knowledge I've gained may be of use to you. Before finding this place, I learned a bit about those who created it. It's designed to keep the shield hidden and safe. Frey's kept coming up in the writings I found. When the eyes of the Guardians are upon you, Julianos will show you favor. I'm right, sure so must get out of this. We'll yeah, whatever. Uh, so when the eyes of the guardians are upon you, Julianos will show you favor. Basically, that explains the whole um, next puzzle. Or, yeah, are you conjured? No. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty easy. This guy's a beast. I mean, considering how it's been locked up for I don't know how long, but pretty damn long I'm guessing. He still took them on straight without any armor. So another thing I noticed was that all these skeletons have the exact same setup in their loot. It's either a brass ring or a rusty brass ring or something. And bone meal. I find that funny. It seems to be some kind of torture room. I don't think there's anything useful here. No, can't remember. I don't think so. It doesn't seem that way. So let's just continue down. Down here. Mm, and another thing I like to do is just to stay left all around. Oh, right, this place. I have to go kill up, take out this guy before I go down that way. Just die, please? I do not need that steel dagger, but I'm grabbing all these things because they're actually worth quite a bit. The staffs, I mean. Actually, my steel longsword is pretty much useless to me. What was it that hit my sh feet, legs? Oh well. There's a 
flour, bear meat, more poor meat. Yeah, I said bear meat, the meat say that. Eh, easy mistake to make. Basically this note says that the prisoner is uncooperative, it does not help, blah blah blah, it's supposed to prefer the mano. So basically just kill the prisoner if it doesn't give you anything useful. Luckily I came and saved the day and the prisoner. So what do we have around here? Another little book. If you want to read the books, just pause the video and do it. Or you could you could go onto the um, Alice Cross wiki page and check it out. I think all the books are transcribed there. The thing I don't like about those guys is, or the casters in general, is that don't, they don't wear any armor, so no armor is getting damaged. Which also means that no armor is available to be repaired afterwards. Who is that? Diamond. Sweet. Oh well, never mind. Uh, I also just picked up uh, another set of the these tools: Apprentice Olympic and Apprentice Mortar and Pestle. As far as I remember, like the Alembic increases the duration of the potions. The Mortar and Pestle increases the duration. No, wait. Well, you know what I mean. They each have different effects that they alter depending on the level of the item. So... Yeah, that's where I just was. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh right, this place. I don't like this place. It got me killed a few times. Well, nearly. See? See what I'm talking about? Like, in theory, it's pretty easy to deal with. But, of course, I'm just a big fat oof, and I always get myself hurt by these things, anyways. Turns out I was lucky this time. And if I remember correctly, there's a big bad thing happening right around the corner. So, need to save. I also want to pair while, I, while I'm out of range for all of the uh, enemies. Come on, come on, come on. Poof. That was a lot easier this time around. I actually died a bunch of times earlier. Sneak blue suede shoes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you remember the um, hint that the prisoner gave me? Or Sir... what's his name? Basically, when the eyes of the guardians are upon you, Julianus will reward or show his favor, I guess. It, yeah, that's it. So I have to turn all these statues to face the center there. 
basically. So there's just this one left. This next part actually scared me. First time around, I quite literally jumped in my chair when this shit happened. Check this out. Oh, wait. <coughs> my bad. My bad. That's just it. Nothing else happens. <laughs> but it really did scare me. It scared me, y'all. Alright. So, let's see. One thing I'm a bit curious about is that this passage is supposed to have not been... Well, no one is supposed to have been here for, I don't know, hundreds of years. And these torches are all over the place. It's a bit suspect, in my opinion. And this, my good viewers, is the main puzzle. I found some sort of puzzle or trap deep inside Fort Bulldog. I'll need to figure out what it means in order to acquire the Shield of the Crusader. Basically, you step on one of these and... or step on these... after you open the chest thing. Grab Ro Roger's helmet, in this case. And you see this... the goblet shows that one. So... Basically, if I remember correctly, no I don't, of course I don't, anyways, I'm going to try it. Basically, the chest in the middle is going to be filled with items, random items each time, and when you put the corresponding item in the corresponding chest, in this case the helmet in the helmet chest, which would have shown up if you just randomly try your butt try luck it starts glowing and like this one Roger's book see the jewel goes over there and I know for a fact that the book goes in this one also remembering that from previous experience Roger's book uh, it actually took me about I don't know 10 minutes to figure out this whole thing the skull goes there and I think the hammer goes over here. I'm just guessing right now. See, it didn't light up. That means I made a mistake. Now we know that the gem goes over here. It lights up. All fine and dandy. And if we remember from earlier, the goblet goes in this chest. Yeah, it took me quite a little while to figure out how to do this thing because. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Lights up. Roger's hammer. Where is that supposed to go? See the Welkin stone? Goes there. Now, if that one is the skull, and that one is not the hammer, then this one has to be the hammer. Right? It's uh, simple deductory skills. My dear Watson, my dear Watson. There we got the skull, which we know goes in this chest. And again with the loud helicopter. <coughs> Apparently there's been some kind of accident. Uh, I haven't read that or anything, but I live pretty close to a hospital. And basically, whenever you hear a helicopter, that's because it's been to the hospital. 
and you heard it heard it earlier today as well. Anyways, we just finished up this puzzle. And wait, didn't we? No, we didn't. Just missing the stone. I forgot. My bad. I got sidetracked. Damn you, helicopter! These lights go out. In similar fashion to the earlier ones. And you come up on this room. Which contains a few statues that are inanimate. And a shield. Now earlier I just picked up all these stuff, these things first because I was pretty sure there was going to be a trap and I had to run Indiana Jones style, but no, it didn't really turn out way uh, turn out that way. So basically now I have a whole new shield. Which is pretty awesome. Spell reflect. I'm gonna dump this one as well because it doesn't have any cell value. So yeah, and that was it. Now I got the shield. Next item on the list will be, hmm, I don't know. What do we have left? We have the gloves and we have, well, we need the gloves and we need the, uh, Need the gloves and we need the boots and the mace. So we'll go looking for those later. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, yeah. I remember this little bastard. Bastard. So yeah. I am going to head out of this place and wrap this episode up for now. Just going to teleport to Imperial City and that's it for today.